Hey guys, my name is Zach and welcome to Rush Faster, your source for better gear and better ways to carry. If you like this content and want to stay updated for more, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. It's definitely great that we can travel more frequently these days, but the continuous airport issues involving lost luggages has made checking your suitcases extremely stressful. This is why we at Rush Faster recommend travel backpacks. Especially when you have scheduled plans, losing your items can easily ruin a fun trip. Packing a carry-on for your travels is the safest way to keep your belongings with you at all times and make sure it gets to your location as smoothly as possible. There's also the added benefit of being able to move freely and have both your hands available instead of dragging your box on four wheels. We have tested a lot of travel backpacks offering great design for all your necessities, so here are six of the best travel backpacks to start the year. First on our list is the Travel Pack 3 by Air. This bag is on its third iteration, offering its signature Air Design language, but with a few upgrades from its first two versions. This black colorway is made out of a 600D Cordura Ballistic Nylon, which can take a beating and has some water-resistant properties. Its 35 liter capacity makes it carry-on approved on most airlines and measures 21 and a half inches in length, 13 inches in width, and has nine inches of depth. It is one of the heavier backpacks on our list, weighing in at 4.12 pounds empty, but because of its solid construction and use of high quality materials, I have confidence it can carry everything I need for my travels. There are quick access pockets on the front, top, and left side of the bag for easy access to all your small to medium size essentials. The front zipper pocket is half the size of the bag and includes a key leash, the top zipper pocket has felt lining, so it's great for something like your phone. And the left side zipper pocket is great to store smaller valuables like your wallet. There are padded grab handles on all four sides of the bag, making it quick and easy to move around. And it includes magnetic compression straps on both sides that don't block access to the main compartment. There's also an exterior water bottle pocket that expands with this zipper and can be zipped back up to lay flush with the bag. Moving over to the back side, both the back panel and the shoulder straps are well padded with air mesh fabric making it breathable even with heavy loads. The straps have load lifters to keep the bag tight to your back and it includes a magnetic sternum strap that is height adjustable. The back panel also includes a luggage pass through that doubles as a grab handle as well as attachment points for a hip belt that's sold separately. Now let's look at the front compartment. We have beefy lockable YKK 10 zippers that open and reveal Air's famous admin panel found on most of their bags. There are a variety of different size pockets, great to store your tech and other essentials. I have hand sanitizer in this stretchy pocket, my sunglasses, a mechanical pencil, my car keys on the alpaca hub keychain, a pack of mints, sanitizer wipes in the zipper pocket, as well as my notebook. This pocket uses the entire area of the bag, so if you want, you can fit more items in front here. Next, we'll look at the main compartment. The main compartment is also using lockable YKK10 zippers and offers a deep cavity for your packing cubes and toiletry kit. It opens in a clamshell design and it fits my two packing cubes. A new addition to the 3.0 is a hidden air tag pocket behind the top zipper pocket so you can always track your bags if it goes missing. Air has included a small zipper pocket along the right side of the bag. And on the opposite flap, we have a large zipper pocket that I have my extra sling in and a mesh zipper pocket that has my JBL speaker. To finish off the bag, they have included a separate laptop compartment with YKK lockable zippers. The back side of the laptop compartment is felt lined and it is elevated off the ground and it fits my 13 inch MacBook Pro very easily. They've also included a hidden zipper pocket along the front side that is great to store more of your valuable items like your passport. Besides the weight of the bag being its main disadvantage, it greatly makes up for it with its versatile design and attention to detail for travelers. The look of the bag is minimal, making it perfect for all travel situations, and with its abundance of pockets, all the items have a home if you plan on using it as a one-bag carry. If you are looking for a travel companion with the highest quality materials, the Travel Pack 3 is a great weapon of choice. Next on our list is the Heimplanet Transit Line Travel Pack. Heimplanet is a German outdoor gears company with a wide range of products from backpacks, apparel, to even tents. This pack is using its own developed Dico shell fabric, which is sustainable, durable, and waterproof. The material feels very robust, but lighter than its competitors with the same characteristics. This bag has a volume of 34 liters, measuring in at 21 inches in length, 13 inches in width, 7 inches in depth, and weighs 3.4 pounds completely empty. The exterior of the bag has two zipper pockets, a top zipper pocket for quick access items like my wallet, hand sanitizer, and a few breath mints. 
and a vertical zip pocket on the front that you can access by swinging the bag in front of you. And I have my passport here. There are grab handles on the top and the left side of the bag and compression straps on the lower portion of the bag that you can use for exterior storage. You can also find a stretchy water bottle pocket on the bottom right corner, as well as Hypalon attachment points for the accessory straps that are sold separately. The straps can be used to carry more items on the exterior of the bag. Flipping over to the back side, we have a well padded back panel, but airflow could be of an issue as it sits flat against your back. The straps have the same padded design, so they are still comfortable, but breathability might not be as good as the other options on our list. They include load lifters, which is a good feature if you plan to carry a lot, and there are Hypalon attachment points throughout the strap to either adjust the magnetic sternum strap or to hook a carabiner screw. The bottom of the bag also includes a seatbelt hip strap, which can be removed, and the lower back panel has a luggage pass-through behind it. I personally like it when the bag sits vertically on top of my luggage, so good job to Heim Planet. Looking into the bag, there are actually a few ways we can access the main compartment, but first, let's open the laptop compartment. As you can see, the bag opens in a clamshell design, giving you full visibility when packing. Toward the back panel, we have a felt-lined laptop compartment that is elevated off the ground and can easily fit my 13-inch MacBook Pro. In front, we have an elastic admin panel that is great to organize your smaller items. I have the Alpaca Hub keychain here, my sunglasses, a Sharpie, and a mechanical pencil, my charger, as well as my notepad. And on the other side of the flap, we have two elastic zipper pockets. On the bottom one, I have my long weekend sling. And on the top, I have some wipes and my JBL clip speaker. Now the main selling point of this bag is its interior divider that separates the laptop compartment from the main compartment. There's actually an interior zipper that lets you detach to the divider, giving you access to the main volume of the bag. Once the bag is filled up with your packing cubes and toiletry kit, you can zip the divider back up and the elastic sewn on the divider will act as compression straps for your load. You can also stow away this divider in its dedicated pocket if you don't plan on using it. There's actually another way you can access this compartment. Going back to the exterior of the bag, Heim Planet has added a U-shaped zipper to easily let you grab anything from the main compartment. I think this design choice is quite nice as it gives you the best of both a travel pack as well as an everyday bag. Overall, the Transit Line Travel Pack offers a unique way to organize your gear. The divider design is something you don't see much in backpacks these days and serves many different purposes. I also find it very impressive that Heim Planet developed their own fabric that stands alongside the industry standard. It really shows that they care about the environmental impact and the material they use for their products. Now let's look at the Tropic Feel Hive backpack. If you haven't seen our end of the year video, I showcase this bag as my most used gear of 2022. You can find the video on the top right corner of this video. I'm currently using this bag as my everyday carry, but it is very capable as a carry-on companion. Tropic Feel has developed this bag to work in tandem with all of their other products, creating an ecosystem that is smart and innovative. The Hive backpack can be as small as 22 liters, but can expand to up to 46 and a half liters with its many add-ons. In its normal form, the bag is 19.3 inches in length, 12 inches in width, has 6.7 inches of depth, and weighs 3 pounds completely empty. It uses a 100% recycled polyester fabric with a DWR coating and weather sealed YKK zippers. The bag has a very boxy look, which might not be for everybody, but it has the added benefit of having a strong construction and it can stand up on its own. The front of the bag includes a large elastic pocket that has many different use cases. You can store large flat items on the exterior pocket or you can take apart its spider nest system to add their smart packing cube which is sold separately. The front of the pocket also includes magnetic fid locks to attach more tropic feel accessories such as their toiletry bag or their tech bag. The top of the bag has a weather sealed YKK zipper pocket that has felt lining. It also includes a zipper mesh pocket on the flap for more organization. I have some hand sanitizer as well as my wallet. There are grab handles made out of webbing on the top and on the left side of the bag. Two adjustable straps for external storage and an elastic strap on the right side that can be used with the stretchy water bottle pocket. Moving over to the back side, the shoulder straps have decent padding, many attachment points, load lifters at the top, and an adjustable sternum strap. The back panel has decent foam padding with good airflow, a hidden zipper pocket that can fit a passport, 
a luggage pass-through that can also be used to hold the straps together and a hip strap that can double as a hip belt if you take it out. Tropifield calls this their bum bag and includes two large zipper pockets. To round out the exterior, they included a zipper pocket with a kangaroo pouch inside to hang an extra pair of shoes from the bottom. You can hook the pouch to the attachment points found on the front of the bag and it adds four liters to the backpack. Opening the main compartment, we have a large cavity that can easily fit your packing tubes and toiletry kit and it has a clamshell design. The front flap includes a padded laptop sleeve as well as a few mesh zipper pockets. Inside the main compartment, I have my Peak Design toiletry bag and Peak Design packing cube. And on these mesh zipper pockets, I have my sunglasses, my notepad, and inside the smaller mesh zipper pocket, I have my Sharpie and my mechanical pencil. The design of the laptop compartment is a little different as most bags have the laptop compartment closest to your back. This can be a concern as the bag will feel very front heavy with the laptop in it. The laptop compartment can be accessed with this Velcro flap and it is felt lined so it keeps it protected and it fits my 13 inch MacBook Pro. Looking back at the main compartment, they have also included two mesh zipper pockets toward the back. These two pockets are a little hard to access when it's fully packed out so I don't really use it as much as I would like. One thing I love about this bag is its expandability. There is a zipper that goes around the exterior of the bag that extends its depth and adds four liters of extra space to the main compartment. So if you need the space after your trip, it can come in very handy. If the shape of this bag is not a deal breaker for you, I strongly recommend it as your next travel pack. Tropic Feel has added many features that support you on your commute and let you adapt to any loadout. Check out their site in the description to see their full ecosystem of products. It will definitely grab your attention. Next up is the Manal Carry-On 3.0. This carry-on bag is the most expensive bag on our list, coming in at $349 USD, but if you want a lightweight, durable, and stylish travel pack, this one might be it for you. The carry-on 3.0 has a 35 liter capacity, measures in at 21.6 inches in length, 13.8 inches in width, 7.9 inches in depth, and weighs just 3.12 pounds empty. The fabric used on the exterior is a 600D Picton fabric that is water resistant, ultra durable, and attracts less lint and dust than its competitors. The structure of the bag is the main reason for being so lightweight, but this streamlined design offers more of a professional look, which is great for any business traveling. On the top of the bag, we have two quick access zipper pockets. Both of them are about the same size, but the front one has a mesh zipper pocket towards the front and it includes a key leash. Inside the front pocket, I have my wallet, and my car keys and on this back pocket i have my sunglasses and my charger we have beefy grab handles on the right side of the bag as well as the top two large compression straps that let you cinch down your load for a more streamlined look or to hang items to the exterior of the bag and an external water bottle pocket on the bottom right corner that includes a bungee cord to keep your bottle in place Flipping the bag over, these shoulder straps are inside this zipper compartment. The carry-on can be held in briefcase mode as well as worn in shoulder mode with their shoulder sling that's sold separately. After unzipping this compartment, you can roll it up and stuff it in the top of the bag. The straps do need to be connected to the top of the handle using these magnetic buckles and they act as load lifters as well. And now we are in backpack mode. The back panel has a lot of padding as well as good airflow and includes a hidden zipper pocket that is great for a passport. The straps are also very well padded and includes an adjustable sternum strap with a whistle. The strap also includes a solution for dangling sternum straps by including a female end on the left side. The bottom of the bag also has a dedicated rain cover pocket that comes included with the bag. The main compartment uses lockable YKK 10 zippers. There are pull tabs on both ends of the zipper track, making it easier to open and close. Opening the main compartment, it has a clamshell design, and you can see most of the volume is on the front flap. Because of its construction, packing cubes will make it a lot easier to pack the bag, as everything will stay contained. You can also use the backside to organize your made items, since the zipper pockets have quite a bit of dimension to them. The laptop compartment is separate from the main compartment, and also opens in a clamshell design. Inside you will find a unique laptop compartment as well as a document sleeve. I currently have my sketchbook here and a dedicated pen pocket that I have my Sharpie 
and my mechanical pencil in. Their signature device nest keeps up to two devices secure and shockproof and fits up to a 16 inch laptop. These Velcros are adjustable for any size laptop that you may have and I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro in here. This bag has the professionalism and the functionality to stand up with the rest of the bags on this list. Its lightweight design lets you carry just what you need without sacrificing on weight. If you want a travel companion that matches the digital nomad in you, give the Manal Carry On 3.0 a try. The fifth bag on our list is the Peak Design Travel Backpack 30 liter. Peak Design has put a name for themselves in the carry gear market, but their travel gear is just as polished. This 30 liter pack measures in at 20.9 inches in length, 13.4 inches in width, 7 inches in depth, and weighs in at 3.17 pounds. The exterior material is a DWR coated 400D nylon canvas that is weatherproof and 100% recycled. The bottom of the bag is fitted with a tougher 900D liner to take on any hard abrasions when placing the bag on the ground. The design of the bag is very clean and sleek, offering minimal branding and very few dangling straps. It offers grab handles on all four sides of the bag, making it easy to grab and go while at the airport. They have included cord hook straps that are stowed away in the bottom flap of the bag letting you add external storage to the front. They hook onto the loops at the top of the bag and cinch down to keep your items secure. There are also two water bottle pockets on either side of the bag and they have elastic sewn on them to keep the pockets flush when not in use. Flipping the bag over, we have a thin but functional back panel. The shoulder straps are connected to this back panel with rivets, allowing for better adjustability and comfort. The straps are well padded and contour over your shoulders well. They can also be stowed away behind the back panel to keep things more tidy. A feature I hope they improve on for the next iteration is the sternum strap. For some reason, I have a hard time pulling out one of the hooks to adjust the height, and it would have been nice to just have it move on a rail system. Sternum strap functions normally, but it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to it. Something I will note is that the pull tabs to adjust the strap tightness is the smoothest experience I've ever had. It still remains tight, but having those thin webbing loops makes adjusting the strap a breeze. The back panel also has a luggage pass-through that doubles as a grab handle. As for the interior, this bag offers the least amount of organization. There is just a single quick access zipper pocket at the top and a little bit of organizational pockets as well. I have my wallet here, some mints, my charger, and inside the zipper pocket, I have my passport and a Sharpie and my mechanical pencil. There's also a little loop around the zipper track that lets you thread the zipper pull through it and keeps this pocket a little bit more secure. The main compartment unzips using their very own zoom zippers and one of the Hypalon pull tabs lets you loop the strap together or on an attachment point around the bag. This acts as a theft deterrent giving you peace of mind when roaming around. Opening the bag we have a large bucket giving you ample room for packing cubes, a toiletry kit and other items for your travels. It opens in a clamshell design and gives you easy access to your items. They've also included zipper mesh pockets throughout the interior of the bag and on the sides for any loose items like my notepad and some sanitizer wipes. The side pockets are pretty accessible when packed in, but these larger pockets can only be accessible after you unpack the bag. On the back flap, we have a dedicated laptop sleeve that is elevated off the ground. Inside, I have my MacBook Pro. And it also includes a divider for a second device. Peak Design has also added an expandability feature for this bag, giving an extra 6 liters of capacity. In its standard form, the bag actually has 27 liters of capacity, but unzipping the front zipper track all the way around adds an inch of extra storage to the main compartment. You can either keep the bag in this state or compress it down after you're finished packing. If you like to utilize packing cubes and pouches, this bag is a great companion for your travels. Peak Design also has some camera add-ons that fit very well with this bag, so if you do have a lot of photography gear that you want to bring on your travels, this bag might be it for you. Last but certainly not least, we have the Pack Travel Backpack. In collaboration with backpack enthusiast Chase Reeves, Pack has developed their version of the best bag for travelers. This 30 liter pack measures in at 21 inches in width, 12.6 inches in height, 6.7 inches in depth, and weighs four and a half pounds. They've constructed this bag using a 900D RPET DWR fabric, which has the same durability and water resistant coating as its competitors, but has less of an environmental impact. Grab handles can be found on the top and bottom of the bag, as well as the left side of the bag. And the right side includes a deep water bottle pocket that has an interior elastic. 
There are attachment points on all corners of the bag, letting you use the two included accessory straps. You have a lot of flexibility here with external storage as you can hold the items on the side or extend the straps to hold a larger item in front. You will find three quick access pockets on the front panel. The top zipper pocket has a waterproof lining for toiletries or any other leaky items. The middle zipper pocket has some organizational elements with a pen loop for my Sharpie, my notepad, some sanitizer wipes, and my hat. And it also includes a key leash for any keys. The third zipper pocket is right below giving you more room to separate your gear. I see pouches being great for this pocket and I have my toiletry kit. Flipping the bag over, we have a breathable, well-padded back panel made with air mesh. Included is a luggage pass-through, a slim but wide zipper pocket that also includes a thin mesh pocket. This pouch is great for items like your phone and wallet while passing through security. I have my wallet here. At the top of the bag, they have included a hidden zipper pocket that is sewn against the back panel. This would be great to keep your house keys or a passport safe from pickpocketers. The straps are just as comfortable as the back panel using the same air mesh material. They have Duraflex load lifters, an adjustable sternum strap that can be taken off from both sides, and a unique strap adjusting system making it easy to remove the straps completely and stow it away behind the back panel for more of a streamlined carry. The included hip belt can also be removed to become its own sling bag. The sling can be opened up by the fasteners giving you more volume and also includes a magnetic divider on the inside. Magnets, how do they work? Now let's open the main compartment. We have a chunky lockable YKK 10 zipper and it opens like a book making it easy to see all of your gear. This layout has a lot of similarities you'd find in a suitcase giving you the flexibility to pack on both sides of the bag. The main volume of the bag is contained behind these two zipper dividers. On the right we have a large mesh zipper pocket letting you easily see all of your gear through it. And on the left is a quilted zipper laptop compartment that fits a 16 inch laptop. I currently have my 13 inch MacBook Pro in there. This pocket is elevated off the ground and all the gear packed around it will keep the laptop well protected. If you want quick access to the laptop without opening the bag entirely, you can leave the zipper open as well as the zipper for the divider open and you can access the laptop with the dedicated laptop zipper on the exterior. Let's open up this divider. Inside I have a stowable backpack, my air toiletry kit, and my Alpaca Ghost Link Pro for my camera gear. Inside you'd find two mesh pockets, great for smaller items like socks or underwear. Now let's open the right side. As you can see, I have enough room for two packing cubes. And inside you'd find a wide zipper pocket for any additional gear. Packed and Chase Reeves have done a great job designing this backpack. It offers tons of useful features that make your travels go as smoothly as possible. If you have a lot to carry and need a space that can fit it all, look no further than the packed travel backpack. And that rounds out the best travel backpacks of 2023. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and let us know which bags you guys liked and which features stood out to you guys the most. If you guys like to purchase any of the bags found in this video, there will be links in the description down below. Some of the links will be affiliate links that will greatly help us out and support us to make more content. If you aren't looking for a travel backpack and still want to support us, give a like on this video and join our newsletter for more up-to-date news on the carry world. My name is Zach and I will see you guys next time. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves, I...